Hey guys, Zachuag here, back with another video. In my previous videos, I programmed a lot with Love2D and Lua. As some of you may know, Lua was used to build Roblox, a popular game platform for all ages. Roblox is a platform where developers can create and share games with the 5 million people that play each day. I've learned some things so far, and I'm creating games, so I wanted to share my knowledge with you. Since this is my first Roblox video, I want to show you what Roblox Studio is and how to set up everything to get ready to create games along with me. For those of you who don't know what Roblox is, here are some games made by other developers, like you. Developing on Roblox can even become a source of income, since Roblox pays you if your game is popular. Now turn on your computer and follow along with me. To play Roblox, you can register at www.roblox.com. Here you can play games. But how do you make games? To make Roblox games, go to the top and click Create. Now click Start Creating and click Open Roblox and follow the instructions for downloading. So, Roblox Studio is like the software or game engine where you can create Roblox games. On the side, you can see New, My Games, Recent, and Archived. Click New and select Base Play. This should open up the Roblox editor. Now, let's get familiar with Roblox Studio's layout. Roblox Studio is basically a collection of panels that each serve a purpose. The one in the center is like a window into your game where you can build things and create objects. It is also where you can test the game. To move in your editor, hold right click on your mouse and move the camera around. You can use WASD to move around in the game. On the right is the explorer. It's like a list of all the objects you have in your game. You can go up to workspace to see a list of all the physical objects in your game, like camera, terrain, spawn location, and base plate. You can add more too. The properties window on the bottom right shows you a list of all an item's properties like color and reflectance. You can also change an item's properties here. The toolbox on the left is a place where you can use models and items made by other players. The window on the top is the toolbar. It has five tabs. The first tab, Home, has common tools that people use a lot. The second tab, Model, in the Model tab, you can add models to your terrain and edit them.
The third tab, test, is where you can play your game and test to see if anything isn't working. The fourth tab, view, the view tab is used to add, delete, and organize your windows. Finally, in the plugins tab, you can download custom plugins which can do various things in your game. We're not going to go over this for now, but know that if you want more complex behaviors in the game, then check out plugins. So that's it guys, those are the basics of Roblox Studio. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to leave a comment, subscribe, and like this video. And don't forget to stay tuned for my next video in the Roblox series. Bye!